So, <laughs> YOLO technologies. All right. So at this point, you would probably realize that something's really, really messed up on your computer. And these things don't seem to be helping, so you're actually going to Google for something that's a little bit more reliable in terms of system protection and stuff. And let's say you just got an email with this semantic Norton tool.exe. And Norton is actually an antivirus, a very shitty one, but still an antivirus. It's pretty well known. So yeah, everything's pretty terribly screwed up. So running Norton, hope we can hope we can fix all this crap. So let's go ahead and run it. But first, just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and check our C drive. Because I just feel like this is good. This looks good. Setup utility. Yeah, this is all good. Should be there. Cursors. What the hell is this? Never seen those before. Of course I did. Alright. So let's run it. Hopefully everything's gonna be fine. Oh shit. Windows has encountered a problem. A needs to close. We are sorry for the inconvenience. If you are in the middle of something, the information you were working on might be lost. Please tell Microsoft with M, uncapitalized M, about this problem. We have created an error report that, that you can send to us. We, not capitalized again, we will treat this report as confidential and anonymous to see what other error report contains Windows X found serious error this is not even a slightly bit uh, suspicious this is completely legitimate just a few spelling errors from from Microsoft of course can happen anytime and we of course want to send error and send and close yeah this is also very very logical to have the send and both things Let's go ahead and click send and close. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh oh my god. What the hell? What 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 what? Oh my oh. Now if you don't know what happened, I'm gonna just tell you. I'm gonna leave the trolling from now on and explain it to you. We actually ran Win32 Gruel, a worm, very well known worm if you ask me. And when we clicked that send and close button, the, we pretty much activated the payload, which is opens up all those weird windows, like I don't know what is this, add and remove programs, all this sort of shit, and then completely kills Explorer, and opens up this uh, this pop up right here. Your computer is now mine. Why? Because I didn't had nothing to do and I thought why not make the evil remember now your PC is in my power. Windows sucks. I can't stand it anymore. Windows has always sucked. Wake up people, it's a scam and blah 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 a lot of ranting and whining about Microsoft and Windows generally. Uh, it's part of scam. Capitalism sucks. Communism sucks. Killer gate. This is the author of the worm, and that's how he nicknamed nicknamed himself. So no matter what you do, either retry or cancel, it obviously ain't gonna work anymore. So you're actually having to hard reset right here. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, gonna pause it a little bit until it restarts oh it's telling us welcome it's welcoming us back to the destroyed and completely screwed up computer that we just installed as an average computer user it actually played up the the welcome sound that's just very cute Oh god, it started up. We have a Windows critical update right here running. 
we have Symantec Norton tool which is the worm running in the background along with some weird named EXCs which are probably the Trojans as well as this one that are running some rogues more than likely so we end up Windows critical update our Explorer restarts however oh shit we get a lot more of the worm running we got a lot of Norton here protecting our computer obviously and as you can see the worm dropped this killer gate 1.03 on the desktop and if you right click on this thing it's not gonna let you view its properties it's not it's just gonna let you either open or create a shortcut and it, this thing works for the other f things and files and shit and what the worm did it also made your C drive inaccessible so it pretty much removed it from my computer as you can see you you no longer have it here and even if you try to go with the address bar it has been disallowed and didn't remove the run command however it has been cancelled due to restrictions so at this point you're pretty much screwed you would think but you can still go ahead and download a much better antivirus to get this thing off the thing is that you can't because gruel pretty much hooks up every exe to run the worm instead of whatever the exe was supposed to do so let's say we want to run uh, we want to play some dune 2000 oh shit ain't working what the hell is going on oh we have even more of of the Windows critical update damn let's close them let's close them all maybe if we kill the worm process you know maybe Feta is just tricking us the worm will us will let us download malware bytes or something alright let's make sure the processor are gone yeah everything Narton related is gone let's play some Dune oh shit still not working still not working and we got more of gruel so let me tell you your PC is screwed now this killer gate is the same thing obviously now let's oh my god we need system checkup to save us come on system checkup advanced system protector the, you need to save us now Rec, reg clean pro everything is dead <laughs> ceilings we cannot make any sort of logical circuits anymore damn it now actually it's interesting IE works and however you get this little thing here after the title killer gate 1.03 just give me give it a second so it can display the rest of the message killer gate 1.03 O three, I make this virus because I don't have nothing to do and exclamation marks so yeah at this point you are pretty screwed and honestly the only way you can get rid of this is to you know reformat your hard drive and reinstall Windows this is pretty much what you have to do so I really hope I this I gave you a lesson an important lesson about the average computer user who would mindlessly install software without looking what they actually do without unticking those little boxes of ads and shit that's letting adware on your computer by running I mean another uh, average computer user who would be running attachments from emails like semantic norton tool.exe if you didn't know Gruel was spreading through uh, email with this name, claiming to be a late hot latest patch from Norton to fix some uh, zero hour malware. So yeah, this is what happens when you are not paying attention. This is what happens when you are not learning to use your computer well. And of course, maybe I exaggerated a little bit, but trust me still screwed up at least run DLL 32 works I guess yeah that one works but 
any exes gone not even the search works anymore everything is gone folder options this one still works but it's pointless so yeah may this be a lesson for every average computer user